Sup everybody, Super King Ghidorah, and I'm finally back with more Avengers action. As promised, we're going to tackle that Thor thing today, and I apologize for taking too long. Like, I don't know what's gotten into me, but I do intend to finish this game, of course, especially with Kate Bishop on the way. So let's go see what we need to be doing. I um, believe we're supposed to be looking for Black Widow. She said she needed to speak to us, so yeah, she's in here. There goes the baby. Hey, baby. Let's see what she just had to say. What have we got? Turns out Pym has been tracking that thing since it showed up in the sky. It doesn't seem to follow a set route, so we can't anticipate its movements. His best guess is that it responds to activity alerts from Ames agents, coupled with its own sensors. It's gonna see us coming. Probably. The Resistance will feed us their data, so we'll have intel on its location at all times. That should at least give us a leg up. Great. Get the Quinjet set up. I want to be ready for takeoff ASAP. Consider it done. Okay. Um, for those that don't know and that are part, I guess, solely watching this series, I apologize that Pokey Arc also hasn't been up in a minute. I am actually working on a survival map that's been posed, proposed by my two friends, Clay and Ferris. So that's what most of my time has been in regards to this game and Pokey Arc with the you know subtle uploads of like Jurassic World Evolution. But yeah, I plan on having that done hopefully by Thanksgiving, if not maybe before Christmas, because I'm trying to actually make a cohesive story here and I'm just barging into people's rooms, ain't I? Cause that's Definitely not the room I'm supposed to be in. Let's see what the kid's up to. Oh, she's looking in the mirror. What's going on, Kamala? Look, she looks she, like she's psyching herself up. Yeah, that's right. Give yourself that uh, good mental pep talk. We've all done it once in a while. Oh, she's been designing her costume. There's a Captain America inspired one, Iron Man inspired one, Hulk inspired one. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I like the look of the Iron Man and the Captain America one, but I like the Captain America one kind of more. Because it's more closer to, well, you know, how original color costume is. What's that? Oh, I think that's that, whatchamacallit, exploding the space, that space station. Hmm. They still trying to make us like the bad guys, but they about to get exposed soon. They about to get exposed real soon. But yeah, let's get to that Thor mission because I actually think this might be Loki. We might get to see Loki in game. So yeah, let's get to it. Yeah, this is the one, right? Yeah. Okay, I should be able to tackle this mission. Sir, S.H.I.E.L.D. intercepted a somewhat bizarre exchange on an old AIM frequency. I have seen much that mortals would deem bizarre. Listen for yourself. The prototype device is ready, my lord. You have done well, loyal one. That's... that's my voice! Gather the Woken, and we will begin. What trickery is this? Jarvis, what can you tell us? Only that the communication originated in Scandinavia. I have no records about any Woken. This cannot go unchallenged. We leave immediately. We need to find out who these Woken are, and what their prototype device does. And let us not forget the one impersonating me. Poorly. I thought they were rather accurate. They were not. So you're not flattered? Well, I think there's a lot more going on here than identity theft. The message originated from this forest. Records show there's a decommissioned aim base here. And yet the building 
buildings remain. That's not AIM protocol. They'd usually strip it clean. The mystery deepens. I begin to suspect AIM never left this place. I'm not so sure. This doesn't feel like their MO. I'm saying that's why I gotta be Loki. Where that call came from. Oh yeah. Uh, flying has to be the best way to get around this map. I we'll have to see when we get Black Panther and Spider Man. And I'm curious on how Kate Bishop and Hawkeye gonna move around the map too. Probably similar to Black Widow, but right now, Iron Man and Thor got the best way to travel across the map. Okay. It's written in Nordic. Carefully. It has to be Loki. Because Loki can shapeshift and take the form of other people. That's part of his MO. So when we find him, we're just going to have to beat it out of him. Beat the me out of him. Oh, God. Uh huh. Now, why your punk ass? Oh, no, wait. Is that Iron Man? <laughs> That might have been Iron Man. I was trying to beat up Iron Man. Come on, you punk ass chonsies. Damn. There we go. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna just result to beating y'all ass the old fashioned way. Never forget the basics of the ass whooping. Don't worry, Star uh, Stark. This one's mine. But I like that. It holds it. It holds him down, and they got no choice but to let, but to take this ass whooping. Hey, I think so. That's what we parents need. We need something that holds the kids down, where we just whoop ass, so we don't have to worry about them running. You have to waste energy chasing them around. I can go towards the uh, discipline they're supposed to be receiving. Just clunk. Also appears to be a signal transmitter, which is why we read it as the source of the call. Indeed. It's linked to a nearby structure that just started emitting strange energy readings. Then our mission is clear. Surely our imposter and this machine lie within. But of course. The structure is sealed, but I should be able to bypass the main door controls. So the Woken appear familiar to you as well. Yes. Either they're part of AIM or some kind of radical offshoot. <sighs> I'm trying to think of who else can shapeshift besides Mystique, but for a chest with gear nearby. still. Oh, thanks for the heads up, Jarvis. Let's just get this gear real fast. Ooh, piece of candy. Power readings are growing stronger, which is probably a bad thing. Uh, you too late to stop us from getting the good suckers. We gone. Uh huh. Oh damn, I should have been part of that. I'll make it up by beating his ass. Come here, sucker. Yo! Oh, that was pretty cool. That was my takedown, right? I gotta see. Uh, I guess we won't see from him. I gotta test that again. No, maybe I should charge it. <laughs> Bet you if I charge it, it would have took care of this. And I'm gonna edit that out. I'm editing that out. That was fucking embarrassing. Yep. <sighs> Just been one shot in all these. Totally didn't miss that other one like a fucking chump. <laughs> I thought he was going to say, I'm the one you got. <laughs> I'm going to say, uh. And I'm not, I'm not saying, uh, for my religious sake. I'm just saying, uh, because of how religious people is. Oh my god! Oh my god! In general, how religious people are in general, but that takedown, though. Okay, I like that takedown. He hits you with the hammer, holds his hand back, the hammer comes back. 
Like in theory, well, that should kill him, shouldn't it? I, I need this health. Yeah, uh, uh. You are not worthy of my hammer takedown. Oh, we, we invisible? We invisible? Gonna beat your ass, boy. Uh. Yeah! Invisible? Yeah! Oh, that's the best way to do that takedown. You don't know what the fuck was happening. <laughs> All right, team, this way. Or better yet, I'll leave these um, these weaklings to you all. I'll handle the imposter myself. Enchantress! Oh my god, it could be Enchantress. That'll be kind of cool to see her in this game. You know, I thought it was going to take care of that for me, but I guess not. It says access the terminal, but those things are glowing, so I gotta take them out, right? Don't tell if they was a waste of time. They was a waste of time. Another trap. Destroying the nearby transformers should bypass the security systems and allow us access. Now we gotta take these things down. So I had to act. I don't know. I don't get this game sometimes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I see that. I think I see that fucking robot. I hate. Granted, I've already been fighting some of them in this damn mission, but still, just want to point it out whenever I can. And I fucking hate these guys. Oh my god, no, no! I refuse to die. I refuse to die. I think I've died in almost every goddamn episode. Let's try to do one while I don't. We are going to break the trend. One, I really can't wait to start playing this online. That's why I need to actually finish this game too. Because I've been dying to play this online with some of my friends. Do some of those whatchamacallit missions and whatnot. But yeah. Let's get it. Oh, nope. What's your punk ass doing? Sit down, bitch. Oh, wait. Does it pick up all the enemies in the area? I thought it was just those, like, around me. But they weren't nowhere really close. Oh, no. Your punk ass think you going. Punk ass. <laughs> he was winding up and it's got he got tapped on the shoulder. Got tapped on it. No. <laughs> yeah. mm. There we go. Took that out. You not burn. I think after this mission, I'm going to play um, Iron Man for like the remainder, as long as it gives me the choice. So I feel like the game should end with Iron Man, mainly because it's their tech that he that Aim has stole and whatnot. They took his Avengers Tower. I mean, it is his building that he turned into Avengers Tower and stuff like that. I feel like Tony just has a slightly more personal stake in it. I mean, yeah, they froze Captain America. Oh yeah. I am the Thunderer, you sons of bitches. And it's time you learn why I first hand. Oh no, get back here. Where you going, Bucko? Where you going? I'm just gonna wind up my pitch! Who who got a move net oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. I am so sorry, baby mama. Oh, not this fucking asshole. I might have to use the Bifrost. Yeah, I'm not, no. Fuck him, he is not killing me. And Iron Man is down. Somebody go get him, thank you. We may be teammates, Tony, but you are not my responsibility. 
That was cool, but I gotta get some. That's why I gotta do these. Watch them on college, cause I gotta get some more of these takedowns. I need to see all the takedowns. Get this punk ass Chauncey of an imposter. So as we get rid of all you, f oh, you fucktards, come here. <coughs> <clears throat> I don't need my hammer. Oh, I need my fist. And me up and me on it. You, you just proved me a liar. You came back to my hand. Yeah. Yeah. For these people that may or may not be working with AIM, they sure is using a lot of AIM's robots. So they have to be with AIM. So if this is Loki, he is working with AIM. I wouldn't put it past him. To somehow convince Modoc. To um, let him assist air quotes here, people, with some type of personal gain to him, of course. Don't shoot as far as it's going, as smart as mode I think he is, Loki could be using him, but the fact that Loki hasn't shown himself in the main storyline yet makes me makes me think that this is not even a subplot, so this could just be, you know, Loki. Like a Loki like Thor mish iconic mission with Loki. That's what I'm trying to say. He is definitely using one of those things that let him sound like Thor. One of them voice things, voice changes. Welcome, Fucking chump. Interlopers. Uh, Thor, this is pretty weird. And annoying. Face me in battle, deceiver, and we shall see who is worthy of the name Thor. Oh, my worshippers' faith is not in question. Woken, hear me. The false god comes. Destroy him! Really now. So when I prove him the false god, will they destroy him? They so anxious in there, they already fighting. We not even in there yet. Don't worry, we coming to whoop y'all ass. Alright, let's behold the false idol. Look at this! Oh my god! He bifrosted though. He bifrosted. So he he has to be an ass guardian. He bifrosted. Unless that's Mysterio, but I highly doubt they go that dang far. Loki can bifrost. I'm pretty sure Loki can bifrost. Which means something more sinister must be going on in Asgard, but dude has to be an Asgardian. He bifrosted. But that is not Thor. Like, how could they really think that's Thor? He looks nothing like him. Oh my god. You chumps. I hate that I did all that just to get here and not fight the guy who I want to beat the skull in while I'm here, um, you're on here. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little bit pissed, so I'm finna take it out on all of you. How dare he waste our time. Die, bitch. And we take out this damn cryo adaptoid. It's no different than the Frost Giants whose Thor is used to beating in their heads in on. So I gotta say I like this Thor opposed to the Thor in the um, God of War series. That Thor is a dick. He was actually seems more kind of like a dick in um, Norse mythology too now. Right? So who is that woman? I I, I want to know. This is <laughs> this is fucking with my head, people. You okay, big guy? This false Thor vows his followers will join him in Asgard. Should they truly seek to open a way, only disaster can result. This woman, Helen Gable, spoke of documents. I must find them. 
Digital records are unlikely to exist. I must try. The name of Thor has been used to sow lies. I will put an end to it. Or die in the attempt. Intel provided by our friends at S.H.I.E.L.D. has revealed the location of an elite AIM squad. We have an opportunity to take them out before AIM can deploy the squad against the Resistance. This is a quick hit-and-run operation. Take out the targets and return to us unharmed if possible. An elite aim team is close by and on alert. Okay, so that lady's name was Helen Gable. After this, I'm done doing this episode of stuff. I'm actually going to look that up because I want to see who Helen Gable is. And I might clue us in as to who this fake ass Thor is. But right now, we finna whoop some asses. Iron Man with the Unabeam. These guys don't deserve the Unabeam. I know I usually say Unabeam when I'm going to Unabeam, but those guys didn't deserve the Unabeam. I am sorry for misleading you. Ooh, he's going to give them the lasers, though. I really like using Iron Man's lasers because, one, they sweep out everywhere. And they do more continuous damage, like get more powerful over time and stuff like that. I actually don't ever see me switching back to the repulsors. <laughs> Alright, Jarvis says it's a hit and run tactic. It's hit and run, people. I can't remember if this was in the beta or not. I don't think it was. Every member of the elite team must be defeated. Uh-huh. Fuck ass. Oh my god, fucking robots. I hate those robots. I really- Oh my god, that's why. That is why. Somebody help me up, please, so I can fuck these things up. Hulkbuster. Definitely Hulkbuster. Okay, EMP. That sounds like a better choice. I thought I pressed R1 with that, but maybe I didn't push them both at the same time. You get the fucking unit. BANG! Punk ass Chauncey, come here! Oh, that was cool. Oh no, he ain't. No, he ain't. Dodge. One of their agents is down. I ain't gonna lie, these adapt toys are chumps. The fucking the other fucking robot is tougher than he is. And I can't even believe that. Like one of my friends said, they get tougher. The adapt toys get tougher. But right now, I have not seen that. I get more trouble out of that fucking centroid or whatever the fuck it is. Then the adaptoid. Joe has to beat down. Another agent down. Somebody grab him. I got this guy. Well done. That squad member has been neutralized. Got this guy too. <laughs> Another enemy defeated. Oh yeah, it's time for the big toys to come out. Whose face we gonna grind into the pavement today? Think it's gonna be you! Yo! <laughs> oh no you don't! No you don't! No you don't! Right. Okay, what was that about? Well, you know what? That was a success, people. As always, I'll be seeing you all in the next Avengers episode. Uh, episode. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And as always, wear your face mask and stay safe, everybody. This is Super King Ghidorah saying, job, peace out. With this victory, you've weakened AIM and given the Resistance a leg up. Keep it up.